How is artificial intelligence impacting our mental health? If you are at all up to date about what's happening in the world of technology, you know artificial intelligence, AI, is here to stay and about to take over a large proportion of jobs that, to date, only humans have been able to do. This is not future stuff, this is now stuff. Uber has already deployed driverless cars and trucks with success. Google has been experimenting with driverless cars for years. So, it begs the question, what will happen to all our Uber drivers, truck drivers and taxi drivers? And this is only the beginning. Just recently, the first robo-lawyer was deployed also. Now you can get legal advice from the machine. Google, Microsoft and others are spending billions in AI. And this is only what we are aware of. If drivers, and lawyers, can be replaced by machines with highly sophisticated algorithms, and photographic memory, very similar to what has already happened to toll booth operators, who else can, and will, be replaced? As Elon Musk recently said, humans need to adapt or risk becoming house cats for highly intelligent robots. The common questions are, what will happen to all these people looking for jobs? What will happen to the economy? But, we ask another question, what's going to happen to humanity as we enter a world void of enough work? Traditionally, idle hands has meant an existential crisis in and of its own. But as we enter a new way of interacting and being in the world, it's our bold prediction that this state of affairs will precipitate an existential crisis the likes of which we have never seen before. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Yes, some people point to the Industrial Revolution, but our looming revolution will make that pale in comparison. Remember, distressed people are dominated by fear. They are negative, create conflict, lash out, get depressed and suicidal and try to control everyone else as a way to get control over their own lives. When one of us is distressed, we all pay for it. It's not a problem you can shift somewhere else. We can't avoid it. So, what can we do to face, and survive, this pending crisis? Most people are not well equipped for change and neither are the businesses they work in. But, for those of you listening and paying attention, there are some things we can get started to minimize the impact. Ensure the AI conversation includes the existential conversation. So far, the many directors and CEOs we've talked to, have recoiled shyly, confused, at the introduction of a topic they are ill-prepared to handle both personally and as business leaders. Start introducing ethical long-term approaches to downsizing knowing that downsizing is coming. This includes preparing people, as much as possible, for the coming change. Talk to your people about AI and new technologies and their impact on business and how you can face it together. This will give you the chance to come up with some lateral creative solutions. Take responsibility and take action. Bring in experts to help you with the transition. Be smart and allocate significant resources to it. This is a problem that's not going away, but that you can prepare for. By the way, this is a good time to shine as leaders and do the right thing, both for your business and your people. Good luck and call us if you need help.